totally different. We're gonna make a website, uh, not a big website, just a tiny one, and then we're gonna learn how to deploy it through either Netlify or Verso. Verso, okay. <clears throat> Those are important steps, right? In order to connect them together, we're gonna be using GitHub, and then, you know, let's get started. <clears throat> All right, on the last video, <coughs> Excuse me. On the last video, I had I created a folder. Let's see. Come on. I created a folder called My First React. Yeah, here we go. I got this folder. In order to start that up, now we just drag it in there close it up and the last video we, we connected everything okay yeah so we got this all right we're just gonna make a little small website <coughs> with tailwind beautiful right so we're gonna do npm start this is gonna be out of blue uh, I haven't prepared for this but Surprises, surprises, you feel? Okay. We got this up and running. All right. Now, what do we want to do with those? Okay. Give me a second, y'all. Be patient with me. All right. Okay. Now we got those. We change a little things up. <clears throat> and what do we want to do here? We're just going to say... We are going to deploy our website using either Netlify or <clears throat> Verso, okay? Whatever you want to choose to go with, how come it's not working, okay? We don't want it red, okay? We want it white. <clears throat> Okay, we're gonna do that. Let's get a little bit more messages. All right, just say, are you ready? Like, I am. <laughs> All right, and then what else? <clears throat> we're gonna get another P tag. What do we wanna say? We want to say, we are going to uh, we'll just do a list, okay? Let's do like UL, okay? LI, okay? We're gonna be using <coughs> GitHub, GitHub. Tailwind. Obviously, React, and then what else? We want, we want Verso or Netlify. Okay. Bam. Those are the stuff. Uh, our website using we are deploying using for so okay. We don't need to repeat this again, okay. Deploy our website, yay! We got GitHub, GitHub Tailwind. If I let's get a <clears throat> class name, let's do PT. Uh, let's do PY10. Let's give it some space, okay? Let's get a, a breathing room here. Now, we want to emphasize this a little bit. So, what do we want? Let's do text. Um, uh, let's go with yellow. Happy, happy. Okay, we're happy. Okay, we're happy. There we go. 
and let's make this a little bit bigger okay and front bolt and let's do tracking uh, widest you know why not and then let's put some okay okay look at that it's a little bit off we don't want that we don't want we want m okay margin 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 what even margin is doing that huh let's go to an app uh whatever just leave it there okay just do this here px6 there we go we got that all right now that our website is done what do we want to do let's go to our github okay if you don't have one create one let's go to new let's create a respiratory repository okay repo we're gonna call it learning learning deploy okay that's it and we'll create it easy easy right and then we're gonna copy these lines we're gonna go like that we're gonna go down here and then we're gonna stop our terminal okay we paste them get the net we got those again let's, let's do git add our next step is git add our next step is git add we're gonna want dot we want to add everything and then we can just copy this and enter good and then what else let's change it to main if you don't want to you can skip this part okay keep branch see we change the branch and then let's copy this <clears throat> what else and then hit enter we're good and the last step the last step is going to be pushing it to our repo okay, we look at it let's just refresh it see what we got we got all the codes that we we made right now if we check this we got our little pretty stuff here okay now that we got that first off let's go to reversal okay so create create one okay and then just do brand new project right and it's gonna pop up here it's gonna ask you a couple of steps or you know but now let's let me make it slight clean so you know what's um okay let's go in the beginning so let's just say i already created my github right i already created everything github and stuff so we're just gonna connect it with a github okay authorize it and this is gonna pop up here okay we're gonna look through it we have all our stuff here but you won't have any because yours is brand new let's go to project and your latest uh, repo that you created in GitHub is gonna pop up here. I'm gonna hit import, and that's it. We'll just do deploy. Bang! So easy, right, y'all? So let's just wait a little bit more, and let's see what we got. Okay, it's deploying. It's deploying. While it's deploying, let's go to Nellify, okay. Same thing with Nellify. You just log in with your GitHub, okay. 
after that you just do add new site import existing one and we're gonna deploy with github okay and then uh, now with this it's not gonna show your latest one let's just search up our learning okay you had to search it up somewhere and then just hit deploy that's it it's very easy okay now we got a website up and running with verso there we go you see it's live anybody can view it now uh, this is still deploying but yeah these are all the steps it's so easy you know you don't need uh, if you're just learning how to code and you want to share it to someone else just do this you don't need to get a new domain you're gonna be just wasting your money send it up different domains you feel so let's just minimize that and let's go here okay now you're gonna see when look I'm getting this stupid uh, link okay how do I change that let's go to site configuration and site details okay change site name let's go with when there you know something easy to remember it's already taken to all right that's easy to remember now right Just search it up easy and let's go to verso see we could do the same let's go here we got our stuff deployed here what do we want to do I'm gonna go to settings and site name. Can we just change it here? And have three. Okay. Let's go to a project. Ah, oh, it's still showing that. Oh, there must be a way. Let's go domain then. Okay, edit domain let's go when dev three save it there we go it's, it's all easy y'all okay but the downside is just the extension here right it's not gonna look professional you know uh, if you're sending it to someone random where they don't trust links they're not gonna click on your your stuff be like what is verso dot app right that's why we have those .com, .net, .org. It's more trustworthy, all right? But it's really up to you. I'm showing you a free version. If you want to see a paid version, let me know, you know. I ain't trying to sell you guys anything. I'm not promoting anything, but that would be awesome, you know, where I could generate some money. Let me know, y'all. Cool. Take care and have a very lovely day.